To summarize, therefore, tetralogy of fallow with pulmonary atresia rather than stenosis is one form of pulmonary atresia coexisting with ventricular septal defect. It's particularly important to identify this subset of the anomaly, however, because it is only in the setting of tetralogy of fallow with pulmonary atresia that we find the arrangement where the pulmonary arterial supply is via systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries. And as we have seen, those systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries can supply the pulmonary parenchyma directly, but much more usually, they feed up with confluent intrapericardial pulmonary arteries, which can be of appreciable size, as in this heart, in which the pulmonary trunk itself is absent, but the crucial point is then to determine the proportion of the pulmonary parenchyma fed through the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries. Thank you.